welcome to Tasha Tuesday. For those of you who are new, I am Tasha. I post videos twice a week, and today's video we're going to be talking about Star Wars. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love Star Wars, and I'm currently getting ready to head to Walt Disney World, where I will be staying at the Star Wars Galactic Cruiser. I am so a bit excited for this. For those of you who don't know, this is a two night fully immersive experience where you are part of the story in Star Wars. Because it's super interactive, your choices impact who you meet with, how you do things, where you go, and it impacts if you're on the light side or the dark side of the force. And because it's super interactive, you are allowed to dress up in like Star Wars attire for the trip. So today I would like to show you my Star Wars inspired cosplay slash costume outfit for my time on the Star Cruiser. When I was accumulating things for this costume, I wanted it to tick a few boxes. One, I wanted it to look as if it was from the Star Wars universe. Two, I wanted it to be practical so I could actually walk around and go on rides and it not have things flying everywhere. And three, I wanted it to be comfortable. If I'm gonna be in it, you know, all day or like for a couple days, I want it to be like a very comfortable outfit that I don't mind being in it for long hours. Keeping all that in mind, I decided to go for a pair of leggings. These leggings are originally from Enco, but I got them at a um, op shop for I think $4. They're a khaki green color, very stretchy, so I can wear them all day and not have to worry because they're comfy as well. They have pockets, so it's functional, I can put things in them. And I think they just go very well with the Star Wars kind of rebel aesthetic. This is them, right? I thought it was the perfect color. Moving on to the next item. I got this brown shirt from Valley Girl. It was on sale for $5. It has a cross in the middle, which I thought was just like a bit elevated from a normal outfit. You know, it just gives, just gives it that little bit of ooh. What's going on? All right, here's the top on. The little cutout, the crisscross with the green. I like it. I love it so far. I think it's working. I feel like nothing screams Star Wars shoes more than like a good pair of boots. So these are my Doc Martens. I'm thinking in terms of how I tie them. I'm not going to tie them up all the way. I'm going to kind of leave the top half semi-loose. Back with the full outfit and the boots. Yes. So I'm taking a lot of inspiration for my costume from Rogue One. Specifically, I had a look at Jin's outfits and her color palette. It's not quite right, but I think it's the closest. It's the closest that I could come up with and find because I really love her outfits. So we're doing the Star Wars Cruiser in Florida. So it's warm and sunny and humid, but it's also during December, which is winter. So I thought this is looks this looks good on its own, right? But I thought it needs a jacket just in case it's like unusually cold or it's colder in the mornings or there's super lots of air conditioner in the cruiser. This is the jacket. It is, here's the brand. Oh, it's Valley Girl, but I got it from, again, an op shop. And I think this was six bucks from the op shop. This is what it looks like with the jacket, which I really like. I think it looks good. If I have time to add a patch to it, I will. If not, I do think it looks quite fine on its own. While we're on the Star Wars cruiser, our phones are gonna be used as data pads and they're gonna be used Pretty much constantly, like that's where your story information comes from. That tells you who you're going to need to talk to, where you have to go next. So you're going to use a lot of battery. So I needed something that would carry my phone, a charger, a charger cord, and also something that I can put my camera on because I'm planning on filming it. I, the pockets are great, right? They're perfect for something. But I also think it's going to be too bulky if I add everything to it. And I think it would take away from the sleekness of the outfit. So I thought, oh, a handbag, but I didn't want to carry a handbag around. I don't think that's very Star Wars-y. So I have this, which is a handbag. I have converted it into a little belt pouch thing. Kind of like a bum bag, but not a bum bag. What do we think? Right? I Look, doesn't that work so well? It just kind of slides in place. I think it goes with it. I can move it around depending on where I want it or what I want the costume to look like. In terms of what I have to carry around all day, it's gonna be lip balm, a phone charger, a phone and a cord. And that's all gonna fit in here. It's gonna be beautiful. I also know that my camera bag clips onto the belt part here so I can bring my camera because I wanna film some of the days as well. So it's gonna be able to fit 
both and I think it's gonna work as like a little utility belt. The legs are looking too bare when I looked at this costume. I was like, it just needs something. There's lots going on up here, not much happening here. I thought, oh, if I had a little leg strap that could hold stuff. My friend Ishka had this, which is a little Velcro band, which is gonna go around my leg. I haven't seen what this looks like. So we're gonna look at it together. Alrighty, are we ready? <laughs> what do we think? I think it works very well. This brings me on to my last item, which I do think brings the whole outfit together. It's very Maz Quintana inspired. Um, they are a pair of goggles, and I do think it brings it together for the vibe of a tinkerer or an engineer, someone who fixes the engines of all the ships. I got these for my 18th birthday, and I, I love them. So my plan is to have them just on my head. See? Doesn't that look cool? I think it just brings it together, right? The whole outfit. This is me. Isn't it great? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't think my character would have a lightsaber. As much as I would love to wield a lightsaber myself, this, this character here, I don't think does. It doesn't feel the vibe. A droid? Yes. 100%. I am building a droid when I'm over there because this character, she would build a droid from scratch. In the Star Wars universe, I believe me, this character, would be a rebel. So I'm going to put the question to you. What would you be in the Star Wars universe? Would you be a rebel? Would you be a Sith? Would you be a Jedi? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye!